we shall reflect on the life of Saint Eligius. Saint Eligius was born of Roman parents in the city of Limoges near central France. A noted goldsmith and metal worker, he made a golden throne adorned with precious stones for Clotaire II. Because of his holy life and incorruptible honesty, he was made master of the mint at Marseille, where he also collected arms for the redemption of the poor captives who were arriving at that great port in a constant stream. He edified the court by following as a layman the Irish rule for monks which had been introduced into Gaul by Saint Columban. Eligius was responsible for the founding of a number of monasteries and convents, the one in Paris sheltering no less than 300 virgins. When Dagobert I died in 639, Eligius left the court, became a priest and in the next year was elected Bishop of Noyon by popular acclaim. This diocese which comprised the region of Flanders was still inhabited to a great extent by pagans and it was to the eradication of their superstitious beliefs and practices and their conversion to Christianity that he devoted his every effort throughout the remaining 20 years of his life. He died on the 1st of December 660. Saint Eligius, who was loved greatly by his people, is still the most popular saint in Flanders and in France. He is revered as the patron of cab drivers and of all who work in metals, especially goldsmiths and blacksmiths.